Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again today. Are we selling our house? Absolutely not. But we are doing some renovation. It's very important to take care of your investment. And one thing I noticed about a lot of properties over here, people let them go. They don't fix them up. But that's not what I'm going to do. They've already finished with the wall. I like what they did to this wall. They added a little spice to it with the lines. But they repainted all the bars, the hollow blocks. It really looks nice. I'm satisfied with it. We're eventually going to paint the whole house inside and out. Same with the guest house. I just wanted to make it look like new. They, hey, Brian Botox. They've got a lot of new houses going up. I don't want us to look bad over here. Come on in. So you always have her brother do the work because he pays attention to detail. He's an excellent worker. He's actually a supervisor for a construction company. But whenever he's in between jobs, we always get him to come over here and and help us. And y'all see what they're doing to that wall. I listen to y'all. Who remembers when that wall looked ugly? But he did a great job. He did this wall by itself. For the gate. I mean, I love his work. The rain is coming now. It's raining season. I mean, it's really raining out here now. I'm talking behind the video. I'm standing outside. I'm gonna have to go in now. We've got a piece of land over in Toledo that we're thinking of building a house and maybe selling it, but I've got another idea if I can get people interested. I may raffle it all just to try to help somebody. Imagine we sold raffle tickets for $50 each. Minimum of 100 tickets sold. You know, I'm always thinking like that. You could have an 85 square meter lot. It could be yours. And you say, well, foreigners can't own land. Yeah, but we'll lease it to you for 50 years. Hell, we'll, we'll both be dead by then. We'll make some type of stipulation. Or just hold on to it and then you can eventually just give it to the Filipina that you're going to marry or uh, move into because I'm going to tell you something y'all overlook these small houses if I could do it all over again which obviously I can I would be by myself and I'd spend Five or six thousand on a house, another thousand or so on a lot, and be done with it. And yeah, this is the skim coat. They're mixing that up. It's going to look great by the time they're finished. I'm not going to let my property go down. It's very important to keep it up. It's one reason I don't like. To invest in a condominium. They just don't keep the property up. So this is one of the main reasons I love the Philippines because there's just so many options. There's just so much that you can do over here. You know, they say it's a developing country. Well, that means something to me. I'm always thinking. I'm always planning. But for somebody who really doesn't have a big budget, small house is something that I would look into or just rent yeah they're getting this together got a long way to go but it's getting there who remembers what this wall used to look like wait till they finish skim coating it it's raining now and painting it then they're gonna paint repaint the guest house then, of course, we're going to 
repaint the house. No, we're not selling our house. We're just doing some renovation. We're going to bring it all the way back to new. I really like what they did to this gate. To our wall. It looks like new again. That's what I like. And if you ever decide to buy a property over here or build property, keep it renovated, man. Because that's one thing that you'll see. A lot of property's been let go over here. I won't do that. I'm going to make, make good on my investment. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again. If you're in America, it's getting late. Before you let your head hit the pillow, please find somebody to help. If you're in the Philippines, it's early on a Sunday morning, beautiful Sunday morning. Now they day goes by, I don't help somebody. We did the RU Martin in the grade five student yesterday, which we did our spin wheel last night, because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay out of trouble. See y'all next time.